Hey guys, Steve here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the $10 Raspberry Pi Zero W. The W stands for wireless. This has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built into it. To get started, all we need is the Raspberry Pi and a micro SD card. You'll need a minimum of about 4 gigs for the image that we're going to install. To get started, we'll go to raspberrypi.org, click the downloads. Under the download section, we're going to select Raspbian, and we're going to download the Raspberry Stretch Lite version. This does not have the desktop because we will do everything by command line. Click the download zip file and save the file. Next, we'll go to etcher.io. We'll download the software. This software is used to burn our image onto our micro SD card. Install the etcher program. Open it up and select image. Navigate to your downloads if you just downloaded it and find the image file. Next, select your micro SD card. If you only have one in the system, select that one. Next, you'll hit flash. This will erase everything that is on that micro SD card. This step will take several minutes. So to set up the Wi-Fi on the Raspberry Pi, I'm going to send you over to my GitHub for this code. So follow the, the link on the screen and also in the video description, and I'll bring up this code. If we click raw, this will give us the raw code on our screen. So go ahead and copy all of this, hit control C. Then we're going to go ahead and open up a text editor program. And we're going to go file new. In this new screen, we'll go ahead and we'll paste our information, and then we'll go through and edit this. Right here where it says SSID, this is the name of our Wi-Fi network. So you'll need to change this to whatever your network is called. Then right after that, this is the password. So go ahead and change this to whatever the password for this network is. When you're done with that, go ahead and go File and Save. And we're going to change this to WPA underscore supplicant.conf. And we'll go ahead and go save. While we have our text editor program open, let's go ahead and go File New. On this blank window here, don't put any code, but just go File, Save. When it asks you what you want to save it, call it SSH and save. Now, if we look on our desktop, we'll see that we have two files that we just created, the WPA supplicant.conf and the SSH file. Right now, both of these are .rtf files, but we do not want them to be .rtf files. So go ahead and Click on them, right click, go down to get info. On this screen, we'll go down to name and extension. We're going to take off the .rtf. When we hit enter, it'll ask us, are you sure you want to change this? Go, so, yes, use conf. Go ahead and we'll right click on our SSH file, go to get info. And on this one, where it says ssh.rtf, go ahead and remove the .rtf hit enter. It says, are you sure you want to remove the extension? Yes, remove that. With that step complete, you can go ahead and take both these files and copy them onto the micro SD card. Now with all those files copied over onto our micro SD card, we can take the SD card out and stick it in the Raspberry Pi. Then we can go ahead and we can hook up our power cord. Now there are two micro USB ports on here. If you look closely, one of them says USB and the other one says power. So since we're going to be powering this up, go ahead and plug it into that one, and then we'll plug this into a power source. So I went ahead and I logged into my router to find out what the IP address of this new Raspberry Pi is. So now that I know what it is, I can go SSH Pi at 192.168.0.45. The first time you log into it, it's going to say the authenticity of this code has not been established. Do you want to continue? Type yes. First time that you log in, the password for the Raspberry Pi is Raspberry. And now that we have successfully set up a Raspberry Pi Zero W, we can do any sort of coding that we want. I hope you guys liked this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and make sure you check the video description for any other information I may add after I post the video. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will have more Raspberry Pi videos coming out, including some that include home automation. Thanks for watching, guys.